What's up creatives, it's Seb here. In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to get free Premiere Pro templates. Now, the best thing about this is not only do you get free Premiere Pro templates, but you can also get free After Effects, DaVinci Resolve, and Final Cut templates completely for free. And you may be asking yourself, how is this even possible? Well, it's all possible with my good friends over at Mixkit. Mixkit is a free resource website powered by Envato Elements. And not only do you get awesome templates for your videos completely for free, you can also get free stock video, stock music, and sound effects with no sign up required. Over the course of this video, I'm gonna be showing you around Mixkit where you can find some awesome animations just like this subscribe button you can see right here they have a dedicated section for youtube and instagram they have transitions titles call outs and a bunch of other things and once again all of that is free downloads with no sign up required i'm also going to be showing you how to install and use them on premiere pro and last of all if you're a graphic designer i recommend you stay until the very very end of this video because i'm going to show you another website which is powered by envato elements where you can get some free svg icons vector illustrations and free stock photos with free attribution so you don't have to give credit when you use them on your projects. Now before we jump onto the editing desk, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. But now that we've gone out of the way, let's continue with the video. So welcome to the editing desk, let's get on with the video. So the first thing you want to do is head to Google and type in Mixkit and then you should have this website right here, mixkit.co, that's the one you want to click on, so go ahead and do that. And right after that you're greeted with free assets for your next video project. You can see you've got stock video, stock music, sound effects and video templates. And because this video is all about how to get free Premiere Pro templates, we're going to be focusing on the video templates templates. So if you click on that, you can see that you've got templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead with the Premiere Pro. And right after that, you can see you're greeted with a few templates already. If you just hover over them, then you can see a little preview of it. So here we've got a little logo intro, which is really, really nice. It's super clean. Here we've got a particle explosion. So you can see right after that that the templates are actually really, really cool. And if you scroll all the way to the top, you can see you've got openers, transitions, titles, logos, and so forth. And you can even see we've got a dedicated section for Instagram and YouTube. So let's go ahead and click on the YouTube tab and you can see we've got some really clean animation. So this is the subscribe button that I use in all of my videos. It's really, really cool. They've got some end screens right here. We've got more subscribe buttons. They've got lower thirds, channel name, openers, all of that sort of stuff. So really, really awesome. And if you wanted to go ahead and download it, you can just click on it. You can see a full screen preview of it and then just click on it, download free template. And then it'll open up with the file location. You just have to press save and then you can just import that into Premiere Pro. But before we do that, I do also want to show you an opener just so we can go ahead and edit that. You can see that we've got some openers right here. They're all really, really clean. I like the look of this one, the Urban Glitch. You can see that it's super clean and it kind of fits the style of my channel. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and download this and then we're going to install that into Premiere Pro. So once you've downloaded the templates you want to use from Mixkit, you'll see that they download as zip files. All you have to do is right click on them and do Extract 2 and then that will create a separate folder for your templates and then you can start using them straight away. Now there's one quick thing to note with the Mixkit templates is that for the Premiere Pro ones, they have two different formats. They have a morgue file which you'll have to install into Premiere Pro to use it and then the other one is a Premiere Pro project file so you just have to open that up, import the footage and then it's good to edit. So let's go ahead and open up the project file right here. You can see that we have a preview video, we have the project file and then the assets. So go ahead and open that up. It'll then ask you to convert that into a project. Press OK and then you'll have to load in all of the missing media. So just click on locate right here. By default it should automatically locate the assets and then press OK. Now right after that you can see we have a ready to edit opener so let's go ahead and edit it so if you want to add some background to your opener then click on the placeholder sections right here and import your footage so for the first one placeholder one we're just going to import some footage go back to the render section and then you can see that it's automatically added that video background to our opener and the same thing with the text if you want to edit that then you can go to the title pre-comp and then you'll be able to edit all of your text. A quick way you can do this is just go to your project file right here, click on title, and then you can customize all the titles right here really easily. So if we just put subscribe, and if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. You'll see if we go back to the render composition, then it's automatically added the subscribe button right here. And it also has all of that glitch effect and all that good stuff. So that's how to easily edit the project file templates. Now, if you want to add the social animations, these are the ones that you have to install. So make sure you have your essential graphics panel opened up. If you don't have it, head to the windows tab right here and go to essential graphics, and then go to the browse section. And then at the bottom right, you'll see that it has install motion graphics templates. It'll open up a file directory. You just have to enter in your file location. So for me it's right here, click on that and then click on your morgue file press open and then it will automatically install into Premiere Pro. Now go to the search button, type in YouTube because that's the one that we installed. Then you just have to click on that, drag it onto your timeline right here and you can see that we have our subscribe button with the sound effects and all that good stuff. Now bonus tip, if you actually click on it and then you go on the edit button, you can customize all of the colors and all of the text. So if you wanna make the button black, then just do that, change it to black 
and then it's changed to black. You can change the text, you can change the font, you can change the size, you can customize it as much as you want. So that's how easy it is to install and edit these Mixkit Premiere Pro templates. So now that I've shown you the basics around that, let's head back to the Mixkit website because there's more than just templates that I want to show you. If we go back to the homepage, you can see we've got stock video, music, and sound effects. And we just click on that, for example, you can see we're greeted with a bunch of stock videos that we can use on our templates. And we just type in waterfall, for example. You can then see that we've got a bunch of waterfall videos that we can just use for our next video project. Same thing with the music and sound effects, for example, if we type in a wish, just like that. You can see if we scroll down, we've got all of our Wish sound effects and we can have a quick preview. And then once we want to download it, click on download and then press save. And then you've got a Wish sound effect that you can use on your next project. Now, if you're still watching and you haven't liked and subscribed to the video, then do do that if you haven't already. And like I promised at the start of this video, I said, if you're a graphic designer, then stay tuned until the very end. So this website is called Reshot. To access it, all you have to do is click on the photos button right here. It's the same thing as Mixkit. It's powered by Envato Elements. And if you scroll down, you can see you've got over 40,000 SVG icons, you've got vector illustrations and stock photos, and you can just type in whatever you want, or you can just click on the vector illustrations, for example, scroll all the way down, and then you can see you've got a bunch of preset tabs right here. So if we go on music, you can see you've got a bunch of vector illustrations for music. You can switch between icons, you can switch between photos, and you can use all of these royalty free for your next project. And if you still don't believe me, just head to the homepage, design freely with instant downloads and commercial licenses, no cost, no attribution, no worries. So now that I've shown you around Mixkit and Reshot, let's head back to the other camera to finish off the video. So that's the end of this video on how you can get free Premiere Pro templates for your next project. Once again, there are a ton of other assets that you can download, so a huge shout out to Mixkit and Reshot for creating these websites. They'll be linked in the description down below if you do want to check them out. That's all I have for you in this video, so don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.